Hello, my loves. Yes, today we're playing Mahar Gel again. Um, it's only a single nail because I just had a bit of time, so I thought I'd run in and do it quickly. So this is how I prepare mm, human nails and my flexi hand for gel application. So I'm gonna buff the nail surface. And the tip, if you're using a tip, obviously I would have pushed back cuticles and all that first. So I've had some questions about gel application, um, people having problems with gel, just not adhering. Uh, so you need to hashtag check your prep. <laughs> I'm not gonna forget that hashtag now, it's in my head. Check your prep, make sure you are using good quality tools and you are using your tools correctly. Make sure you are removing all of the non-living tissue from the nail surface, because that's what's gonna interfere with the adhesion of the product. And you need to make sure you are buffing the nail lightly, dehydrating and priming with whatever system you're using with what's required. And then with gel, I'm using a one-step gel from Valentino. So some gel, gels will have a base coat, others might be a one-step gel like this. So I take a very thin layer and I rub it into the nail. I literally work it really in there, into that buffed and dehydrated surface, and then cure it for whatever time your gel cures for. This is 60 seconds. So make sure, hello Milo. Make sure you buff that gel right, uh, buff it, rub that gel right in, pressing quite hard down on my brush. And that's going to be your sticky adhesion layer. I don't know what my dog wants, but he's looking at me like a lunatic. Then you're going to need some cling film for this design, or I don't know what you call it in, in America, saran wrap or something, I don't know. So I'm now going to take a blob of the hard gel, and I'm going to work that from about the free edge of the natural nail down to the tip. Quite a nice amount, but not super duper thick because after this design, we still have to cap it. But we want enough to play with to create this cracked glacier type look. So you've seen it done with acrylics. I tried doing this a few months ago when I was just playing around at home and I had to figure out a couple of things I was doing wrong, so I've done that now. Milo, stop being weird. My dog's just sat looking at me. Okay, so once this is all in place, I don't want too much at the sides, because I want this design in the center, otherwise we're gonna go wide. I'm gonna press the cling film in using my uh, Madame Glam tool, and just create crevices and raised areas. And then once I'm happy with it, I'll get my lamp. It's easier for me to hold my topper's lamp over the top rather than try and get the finger off and put it into a lamp. So I'll move my gel out of the way and cure that. Then just remove it and it comes off so easy. Look, off it comes. No problem at all. And you're left with this beautiful cracked icy look. Now, you need to put something on top of the cracks. So I'm using Glitterati's uh, pigment in silver chrome. If you don't, you're gonna lose all of that definition. So you need to rub something onto those raised areas to get them to stand out. So I'm just like rubbing it on, there's, there's quite a sticky surface. It's gonna naturally uh, adhere to the higher areas which really emphasizes, you can use any color obviously, you can use any effect you want, you could do chameleons, you could do the fairy chrome from Glitterati, that might come up really nicely. I wanted that silver icy look, so I used their silver mirror chrome pigment, which is beautiful. And then I'm gonna add a tiny layer of the one step gel, just a thin layer to the top here, and we're going to work with some glitter. And this glitter is from Angel Crystals, my pots are not labelled. <laughs> I didn't have the labels on my pots because they were so brand new. Um, so I will write the colours into the description box. I think... Oh no, this one's called Superfly. I'm sure it's called Superfly. It's a holographic super fine silver or fine silver. And then I have a holographic chunky silver, which... Hello Milo. I can't remember the name of it, but I will put it. And I'm also putting a little bit of the Superfly in the some of the crevices, so where the gel dips in, just to give it another dimension. You could leave it crystal clear, 
but I just thought what might happen is as the light catches it from different angles you'll get this rainbow like holographic ping back of the light so yeah I like it and then before I do anything else once I've got this thin layer of glitter in place I'm gonna cure it before I work with anything else because you're working with gel you're better off building it up a little bit curing it because I'm gonna put different glitters on top and then I'll start moving the base layer around and so I'm just adding another super thin layer tiny tiny thin layer keep it wet and then I'm gonna press in some of the chunkies these give serious holographic payback like boom so it's a chunky mix so you've got some smaller pieces they're just it's not a a multi mix it's more of a chunky mix which is great because you can really get that holographic payback on those pieces Ooh, look at that shiny and I will cure that too once they're all in place and then they'll be stuck A little bit of gel get, um, glitter getting in the way. Because it's a chunky mix, it's easy to pick out individual pieces and just press them where you want them as well. So, cure that, and then we're going to cap it. But because there's so many crevices, I'm going to go in first and put a thin layer through everything just to make the product flow easier. Okay. Now I'm going to get quite a large bead of gel and work that through the length of the nail. So I always pillow it closer to the cuticle and let it kind of settle in and then start just gliding it down the nail. It's super easy. It goes where you move the finger, especially like this is a medium viscosity so it's not hard to move and it self levels really quickly. The only thing is, the Valentino don't have a nude, like a nail bed colour. So, otherwise I would have it and have a bit more flexibility. But I have an idea which I'm going to try to get round that. So if you find a gel system that you really like, but they only really have a clear and a white, like Valentino, um, you can adapt. And that's what I'm trying to do. See, it's not very thick. It's not a super thick nail. Milo, shush. It's not a super thick nail, I'm going to cure it and then we're going to file it into shape. Take off the sticky layer with some prep spray. Give it a good scrub, look at that. And then we're going to get to shaping this bad boy. I've kept my filing in, even if it is out of shot, I want you to see what I do. So it's quite an unruly design, so you've got to then pull it back in, get it into, into shape. So I'm always keeping my file up straight against the sidewalls there, holding it and supporting the nail, even if it was on a person as well. Especially if it's on a person, otherwise it's going to be rather uncomfortable. He's a good boy. He's a good doggy. <laughs> my dog's being so clingy today. Oh my god. So then I'm going to work around the cuticle, tucking that file in as close as I can get it, really tucking it in. I change files, so for my shaping of the free edge, I always use my Glitter Planet Nail Make steel file. And then I just have these ones that I really, really love. I get them from Amazon. They're like Calvinite or something, 100, 180s, and I really, really love them to finish filing. If it was acrylic, I'd be inclined to use my, um, my fine e-file bit, cone e-file bit, but See how the shape's coming together beautifully? So I'm going to go back over that, make sure it's the way I want it, make sure everything's nice and neat. And then once I'm happy, I will remove all the dust. Give it a good dust down. And then we're going to top coat. Bring out the bling. Oh my God. When this top coat hits, this is Diamond Nail Supplies Tack Free Top Shine. Check it out. Ha! It's... it's just heavenly. I love it when you top coat hard gel. So good. It's just super, super, super shiny, isn't it? 
then that'll go in the lamp. And that's that. I hope it's been interesting and it's it's helped a few of you. I'll see you in my next video. Tally bye.